In this podcast, we're going to look at a course information module that has been customized for a specific course. Let's take a look now at a course information module that has been customized. This is the one that's in my history course. And I've added some other things to the module, but you'll see the same five files are located right here in the center. I'm going to go ahead and click on instructor information. You can see I've added a picture of myself. I've added um, my room number, extension number, email address, my educational background, and then hours when I'm available in my office. And then on the next page, I have a link here to my syllabus. I've updated the information for my textbook. I've also put in a link out to an accessible version of the textbook that's available on the publisher's website. And I've also listed a supplemental reading here for Uncle Tom's Cabin. I have no required other materials, and that states that here. Um, and I've left the required software the same as the default as well. On page three, I put my course objectives in here. And then below that, I've listed the types of things that students are going to do in the class and my grading scale. Below that, I have a course pacing and structure area, and it lists how the modules will be released, how they overlap on the weekends, and how that all works. Just kind of the timing of the class, and that it's set up on a weekly, um, basically a chapter week basis. And page four are my policies, and generally these are just the default ones that are in that course information module. And then here's the detail help. And this, once again, has not been customized. So that's what the course information module looks like in a course after it's been customized. And to edit any of the pages, you would just go down here to edit HTML and then make whatever changes you want and go ahead and then update it. It customizes like any other document that you create within D2L. So you can check out our video on how to import the course information module into your course. And that's all there is to importing and customizing the course information module, the use of which we've identified as a best practice for online courses. Mm -hmm.